it's Terry, and I'm here today to share with you my latest design team project for Calico Collage. This is for June. It's featuring the Beekeeper digital kit. Love this kit. This is the second journal I've made with it. This one is a hardcover. It's six by nine with a two inch spine. It has the little bee charm here that can be removed. It has lace here that was a gift to me from Beam. AKA Paper Pixie. It's really, really pretty lace. Some other lace here. It has the Tim Holtz knob here on this. This one has a lot of Tim Holtz in it. Seam bone enclosure. Sorry. <clears throat> this right here that is uh, layers of a 1920s dress that I found at a thrift store. It's got a B from the digital kit here. Open it up. It's got some more lace from that dress. Some more layers here. It's me Edith Holden. There's lots of Edith Holden pages in this book as well. This is some eco-dyed paper made with dandelions. Page from the kit. It's got two signatures. It has over 200 pages in it. Both signatures are tied closed. It has a writing board in the back. It has a page from Edith Holden book. It's held in place by magnets. And let's get into it. These are also dyed seam binding here to tie it closed. Let's see if we can see all this. Really pretty page from the kit. Some vintage lace here. Here's some muslin part of that dress, that 1920s dress on the underneath side here. We have the Story Begins tag that's embossed with some bees. Most of the tags have, there's a lot of the honeycomb looking stenciling in here. Cart from Tim Holtz. One of her tags. Another page from the kit. This, I just love the pages in this kit. There's lots of lace. Lots and lots of lace. Some stamping. Write your story. More stamping and stenciling. There's several little interactive type pages in this one as well. This one has the tag that pulls out here. Holds it closed. A little quote there. You open it up. Flips open again. There's some Tim Holtz card. Ephemera from the kit. Tim Holtz, little ego dyed paper seal there. Bolts out. Fold it all back in. Tag slides through here. And into that one and it holds it in place. Sorry silk ruffle. Hope I'm staying fairly in frame here. Here's some collaging with some Tim Holtz die cuts. Edith Holden pages. Some ephemera from the kit. Some muslin from the dress. Some lace. We have an Edith Holden page that could be used however you would like. There's several of these little envelopes in this journal as well. They can be left to open or you can glue them down. If you choose to glue them down, I made it where you have a little closure here. Just tucks up in there. Of course, you have all space to write around. Some watercolor paper that's had some dandy lines eco dyed on them, I guess you would say. Type to your dreams. Another little card from Tim Holtz. There's some vintage typing paper here. That was my grandmother's. I have several quote pages in here. Card from the kit. B. B to the blossom, ma to the flame. Each to his passion. What's in a name? Helen Hunt Jackson. Yellow rickrack. We have a 
have a little doily that's on some eco dyed paper here, the beekeeper. And I've made some journal cards out of the pages from the kit. This is another one of those pages. This one's got some more Edith Holden. Tagged from her kit. trim. Got a card from Tim Holtz that I've slid in there. Brown craft paper. And of course, everything has been distressed. Glimmer misted with my homemade glimmer mist, which I talk about it. It's actually a bottle of reinker and water and eyeshadow, and it makes everything sparkle. Whoops. Sorry about that bouncing the camera here. I've got some French English dictionaries. I've stamped where the French word for beekeeper is right there. Another page from the kit. And I have several bullpen charms and paperclip charms throughout. Here's one of my fold outs that I've collaged on and it's got Femur from her kit, and a Tim Holden, or Tim Holtz, excuse me, tag that's embossed. Here's an Edith Holden tag from a page from her book. Fold out, has a little quote up under here. Of course, it folds completely out to a full size page that you can journal on. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll just Slide these back in here for now. So I don't know where they came out of. And here's some more journal paper held in place by a clip. Some vintage ledger paper that's been coffee dyed. I also put the eyeshadow mist or glimmer stuff in my coffee dye as well. Just some little paper to write on. The floral line edge punching here. Another page from the kit. Doily. Here's some 1887 music paper. Another little journal card. This is embossed on here. the kit. Of course the journal card that came with it comes with the kit. It's so pretty. Smart. Page out of a I've got several pages in here out of a ideals magazine from the 60s. That was my grandmother's little glassine bag with another card from Tim Holtz. Sorry, silk ruffle here. And here's a different weight of craft paper. Pocket from the kit. Some more cards here to journal on. Another page from the kit. Smart. Edith Holden page. this and here's another B quote a work of art well you can read it I'm not gonna read all these tag that pulls out there this is the center of the signature and there's just some extra journaling paper in here pocket and a journaling card here with a tag same on this side some more journaling paper in the center here Quote and a B tag. So that Edith Holden. And I've watercolored or 
gelatos and I think watercolor crayons on these little bees here. It's another tag from the kit. Here's a stereoscope card of some gardens. I thought that kind of went well with it. It's a, I believe this one's night. I'm not sure what year this one is. I have to look and see. 1904. That's the date on that one. Another journal card that I've made out of pages from the kit. Here's another little doily tuck that's been used. Let me get that up there where you can see it a little better. Of course, that's eco dyed paper back there. Craft paper. That's a little glassine bag. Some holds. The ideals page. Here's one of those little pocket things. From Tim Holtz. It's got all sorts of stuff tucked in it. Ephemera from the kit. Here's a vintage playing card that I got at the Round Top Antique Fair. Thought I'd tuck her in there too. Another journal card. They're all stamped on the back, just like that. And it's double coffee dyed paper and I use 24 or 26 pound paper I believe 1887's another old vintage doily some more from the kit some more note paper the other side that ledger paper this is all just clipped on with the Paperclip charms here. Another Tim Holtz card. Another tag from the kit. Some of these tags were her Friday freebies too. If you go to her blog, you can find them. Page from the kit. The other side of that 1940s French dictionary. French English dictionary. Some more. Here's another quote. Let's see if I can somehow pick this up where you can get a picture of it. Some more Tim Holtz journal cards, that watercolor paper. And I stamped this on some muslin and glued it down and made the little flowers out of the eco dye paper. Little bees are from the kid. It's some embossed cardstock and I kind of made what would remind me of bell pulls and it flips up it's magnetic so it keeps it in place on the back side of the page we have the pocket here with the Tim Holtz and the ephemera from the Calco collage little cards there's a little glassine bag but Tim Holtz, and little journal card from the kit. All slides back in here. This lifts up. There's a tuck here. There's a little journal card back here. And then this flips down. Let's see if I can squeeze it around. And it's all held by magnets too, so kind of cool. Some, got a page from the kit. Got a journal card from Tim Holtz. Tag from the kit. Little time record. And that is the first signature. And it ties back together. With the seam binding here. Sort of. Fix it later. 
Here's the signature too. And of course, I just tied it in a knot with a clip here, so I have to put that back on. The vintage lace on here. Another one of those little envelopes that you can glue shut. Some more Tim Holtz. Here's a repair tag that's been copy dyed. The ink kind of smeared, ran, bled, whichever way you want to call it. Another page from the kit. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. That's embossed on there. Here's another one of those little interactive pages. This goes that away. This opens up. It's got a little journal card and a tag in it. Slides back in there. Another page here that you can write on. Here's a page with the Edith Holden page. A little envelope. You can turn it into an envelope or use it however you'd like. Sorry, Silk Ruffle. And this little poem that had bees mentioned in it. I want to eat it, hold a page. And I put it in there with a vintage bingo card. And here's another page of Edith Holden book. Added the little bee ephemera from the kit. Stuck that on there. I thought it made a cute little tuck. Eco dyed paper. Tim Holtz card. Vintage typing paper. Another B quote. And let's move on. Here we go. Another journal card. Another little doily tuck spot there. Tag there from the kit. Another journal card from Tim Holtz. Card from the kit. Some ephemera from the kit I just decorated the page with. More craft paper. B in the English French dictionary so it gives you the French version word there too. Another charm. Here's another one of the fold outs. Kit, a ticket from the Tim Holtz die cut and stamp. I love that set. Here's a time card back here. It's coffee dyed. Of course, it's got the collaging on it with little quote there. Flip it up and save her life and all its magic is on the other side. It's open and folds to a full sheet of paper. Fold it back. Tucks in there. I'll this back in here for now. Some more paper here that's clipped on. Another ledger paper that's coffee dyed. Some more note paper that's been stenciled on. Edge punching by Martha Stewart. Another page from the kit. Another embroidered vintage doily. Find from Creative Reuse, I believe. Or maybe Lemmy sent me that one. Not real sure. Find a lot from both. 1887's music paper. Oh, that book I got at a vintage market. But again, this is embossed on here. Dream. Another little charm. Two little tags with a belly band from the kit, and I backed it with some lace there. I don't know if you can see the lace very well, but it's on there. Journal card from the kit, another tag, pocket from the kit, 
Just a little collage down here. It says Beekeeper. Another page from the Ideals magazine. Now, on these pages somewhere, on, there's something about bees. The buzz bee. The bees buzz around on lazy wings. I tried to find something that would tie in with the theme here. Another journal card from Tim Holtz and a little glassine bag. Some more sorry silk. Ah, oh, here's where this clip goes. And Juju decided to come pay us a visit. No, no, Juju. Kitty, kitty, you need to go away. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. You're on camera. You don't like to be on camera. You need to go on. Cat. We're going to have an issue. Say bye to the nice people. Go on. Okay. So we're back. I think this is approximately, approximately where we were. I have to stand funny now. I have to guard. Here's another Edith Holden page. Another quote with bees. Words are like bees. Some create honey and others leave a sting. Author unknown. We're at the, signa at the signature. Here's another. Coffee dyed journaling paper. Another repair tag. Here's a little tag made out of an Edith Holden page. Tag it in. I wonder how much I'm editing I'm going to have to do. Hopefully not much. Oh, I need to fix that tag. Okay, here's another tag. It will be... Soon it will have its sorry, own sorry silk topper. All the sorry silk is from my friend, Sucha Smita. In India. Hi, Suchi. Another little tag here. Another B quote. Can y'all see those? Is it coming in? I hope so. We'll see. Another Edith Holden page. Once again, this just unclips. You got the page to write on. Plus all that extra there. More Sorry Silk, another Tim Holtz card, the other side of that Ideals Magazine, another Edith Holden that you can, and these, I tried, like I said, bees, most, of, some of them have them, where I could find bees, they're one there, Tim Holtz card, journaling card, card from the kit that I turned into a tuck, Here's another stereoscope card that has gardens on it. Not sure what year this one is either. Probably around the same time period. Anyway, thought I would include those. I have a whole bunch of these stuff I've been very fortunate to find. Other side, another journaling card and the little doily tuck. These little doilies were gifts to me from Clemmy, Clemmy's Creations. I'll be linking her down. Here's another one of those cards. Little tags. Tuck with the journaling card. For some reason, my camera stopped. So we're back to where we were. Almost back to where we were. Let me see. Just finished here done that. Here we are. We just looked at the journaling card. And now we're on back to the 1887's paper. And the other side of that doily, that vintage doily. Some more writing paper. Some more vintage, or some more edge punch from Martha Stewart. Some more journaling paper here. The other side of that ledger paper. Some more spots to journal, paper clip charm, another Tim Holtz card, tag, ball pin charm that you can remove or leave or whatever. Here's some more 1940s French English dictionary, some craft paper, 
and here's from the kit and I tucked it with one of those little envelopes that you can glue shut. Apparently it's stuck to that. And a statement that's been coffee dyed that you can journal on. If you take all this stuff that is put in here out, it won't near, be near as fluffy. And a lot of it you can put in your own, in journals you're making, or use it however you want. There's another one of those Edith Holden pages with the bees. Tag. Let's see. There's another quote. As I make lots and lots of noise, I apologize. Should have taken that charm off. Got a Tim Holtz card. Some more watercolor paper that was eco dyed. Sorry, silk. Here's another one of those pull ups that you can journal on. Be yourself. Some Tim Holtz. Some muslin cheesecloth that's been dyed. Embossed cardstock there. In the back side, we have the journal card here from the kit. Once again, it flips up. Has a little tuck here. Flips down for more journaling. Has a little journal card back here. And it's magnetic closed as well, so it'll stay in place. It just snaps back. And we are almost done. Last page. Here's another one of those envelopes. Journaling card. Tag. And back to the writing board in the back that has Elizabeth Holden page on it. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in purchasing this book, please hit me up. Please like, subscribe, and ring the little bell. I greatly appreciate it. Have a blessed day, everyone, and thank you for watching. And until next time, y'all have a great day.